This is Kelso Sturgeon. Thank you very much for tuning in for another session of Handicapping 101. Today let's talk a bit about the NBA and about Major League Baseball. But first let's do a little uh, company business here. Had an outstanding day yesterday in basketball. I uh, released one game, a 25-unit play on the Portland Trailblazers. They got the job done at Utah. Also released my 25-unit baseball game of the week, which was a... Uh, a, a run a run line play on the uh, Philadelphia Phillies over the New York Mets won 11 to nothing a 25 unit baseball game of the week an 11 to nothing winner and keep in mind uh, this run line play that we got a hundred and five dollars for every hundred dollars wagered baseball uh, is a is a good way to uh, uh, minimize the uh, chance that you'll lose and to maximize the profit that you'll make and that brings me to the Major League Baseball season. If you're not playing baseball, you're missing an opportunity to really mine for gold. Uh, you can get the entire baseball season right through the World Series for just a hundred and seventy-nine dollars. Think about that. A hundred and seventy-nine dollars charged to your major credit card. You can play right through the World Series way off in October. It's the sports bargain of the year and I'm winning. Uh, today in Major League Baseball, releasing my uh, 25 unit uh, uh, American League game of the week plus my 50 unit NBA game of the week. Don't miss either one. Uh, you can get them on this site or toll free at 1-800-755-2255. All major credit cards are accepted. Now let's talk just a little bit about the NBA. You know, we're winding down uh, the regular NBA season. It closes on uh, on Tuesday. Uh, the playoffs uh, begin on uh, uh, Saturday. And there, there's a lot of things to look for when you're trying to figure out what's happening in the NBA. And I've, I've got a nice story on the website that you uh, should read, give you some background. But you know, the one thing, how a team is playing is very, very important. Now, I'm not about to say that the Los Angeles Lakers uh, are, are not going to go anywhere in the playoffs because uh, they're, good, they're a good basketball team. Very concerned that in their last three games they have lost them all. They didn't cover uh, and they are averaging about 12 points on offense less than they have during the regular season. They're lifeless and listless and I don't know what it all means. But you know when you bet on the Lakers when the playoffs begin, uh, make certain that uh, uh, you do your homework and uh, I would say the same thing about the uh, Dallas Mavericks. They've lost their last four games. They look tired. Uh, can't quite figure out what's going on. But how a team is playing right now is all important, and you need to uh, uh, put that right in the forefront. How is a team playing right now? And by the way, how is it uh, uh, faring against uh, against the number? You know, if you find a team that's winning and that uh, let's say a team is is uh, eight and two in its last uh, uh, ten ball games and is is uh, two and eight against the number in those games uh, factor into the equation that this team is probably a bit overrated and you're going to pay an extra price to bet on them. Just pay attention to these two things, how a team is playing and how it's faring against the number at this point of the season. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be right back here tomorrow with another session of Handicapping 101.